Turkeys, my name is Rachel, and today we're going to read I Am the Turkey. The Class Turkey I run into school. Slow down, says the principal. I walk slowly to my class. It is hard. Today is the day we get our parts for the Thanksgiving play. John, you will be a pilgrim, says Miss Willow, our teacher. The play is a big deal. Our parents come to see it. I would like a good part. A pilgrim is a good part. Ron, you will be a tree, says Miss Willow. Allie, you will be Plymouth Rock. A tree? A rock? Not me. I want a good part. A tree does not talk. A rock does not talk. Jane, you will be an Indian, says Miss Willow. An Indian is a good part. I hope I will be an Indian or a pilgrim. They have a lot to say. Mark, says Miss Willow. Mark, that's me. You will be the turkey, she says. The turkey? What kind of part is that? The turkey is a good part, Miss Willow says. Without the turkey, we could not have Thanksgiving. She is right. There are many Indians. There are many pilgrims. There is only one turkey. That night at dinner, my father asks, How was school? Fine, I say. We will put on a play for Thanksgiving. Big deal, says my brother Tim. A second grade play. Ha <laughs> ha. I remember when you were in the Thanksgiving play, Tim, my mother says. You were a pilgrim. What part did you get, Mark? A good part. The turkey, I say. Ha 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 ha, shouts Tim. Milk comes out of his nose. You are a turkey. Tim, my mother says. The turkey is a good part. I eat my meat. I eat my corn. Tim keeps laughing. Maybe the turkey is not such a good part. A dead duck. My brother tells his friends, Mark is the class turkey. They all laugh. I find out a turkey is a fool. No one in my class knows this. I will not tell them. Today we will start doing the play. We must practice it many times so we can be good and remember our lines. Our lines are what we say. John tells how the pilgrims came here. He tells how hard the first winter was. Jane tells how the Indians helped the pilgrims. I look at my lines. All I say is, gobble, gobble, gobble. Don't I say more? I ask Miss Willow. No, says Miss Willow. That is all the turkey says. My brother tells me the real story when we walk home from school. That is because you are an animal, he says, and you are dead at the end. The pilgrims and the Indians eat you. Not me, I say. You are just trying to make me feel bad. Okay, turkey, he says. Ask mom. That night, I ask mom, did the Indians and pilgrims eat turkey at Thanksgiving? Mom tells me about the first Thanksgiving dinner. Eek! I am a turkey and they eat me. Tim is right. I am a dead duck. The next day, I tell Miss Willow, I am sick. I cannot be in the play. Mark, the play is two weeks away. I am sure you will feel better by then, she says. She turns away. I run after her. Miss Willow, I forgot to tell you my grandma is coming to visit, I say. I will need to spend some time with her. She can come to the play, says Miss Willow. That Miss Willow, she has an answer for everything. She says, you will see, the turkey is the best part in the play. We need you. Yes, you need to kill me and eat me, I think. How did I get stuck in such a bad part? What can I do about it?
The turkey saves the day. On the day of the play, Miss Willow seems a little funny. She keeps picking at our costumes. John throws up. It is hard to be a pilgrim with so many lines. Jane says she will throw up too. You will be fine when you get out on the stage, says Miss Willow. I know I will be fine. I have a plan. No one who comes to see the play will know I am a turkey. I peek out to see who is there. I see my mom and dad and Tim. Why did Tim have to come? I think I see him pick his nose. Good, I will tell dad tonight and Tim will get in trouble. It is time, Miss Olo says. I know you will all do well. Jane goes out. She has many lines. She is good. People clap for her. The other Indians go out. It is going fine, says Miss Willow. Then I go out. Now for my plan. I bend over so I am little. I hide behind Jane. Jane moves. I hide behind John. John moves. I hide behind Allie, the rock. Now and then I poke my beak out and say, gobble, 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 when I have to. People laugh. I do not think it is that funny. Oh no, Allie moves. A rock is supposed to stay still. What kind of rock moves its feet? I hide behind John again. John has to talk. He looks sick. His face is green. It is the end of the play. He has to say they will eat me at the big Thanksgiving dinner. But John does not say a word. Say your lines, I whisper to him. He just looks at me and then at the people in the seats. The mothers all go, ooh. Miss Willow looks like she is going to cry. Jane and the other Indians back away. The pilgrims say nothing. I think about how hard we have worked on the play. Say something, I say to Ali. Rocks do not talk, she says back. The tree has backed up into the pilgrims. Someone has to do something. I fix my wings. I pull my beak down. I come out from behind John. There are a lot of people. They are all looking at me. Uh, I am the turkey, I say. I see Tim try to hide under his seat. Mom and Dad look surprised. This is the end of the play. The pilgrims and the Indians eat the turkey. But Thanksgiving is for saying thanks. And turkeys will thank you if you do not eat them. I bow. Everybody claps. Miss Willow comes over to me. I am sure she is mad. But she hugs me. Thank you, Mark, she says. You saved the play. John's mother takes him home. He still looks green. Jane and the other Indians say, Mark, you were cool. Then my mom and dad come in. You were the best turkey ever, mom says. You are great, son, dad says. You are okay, says Tim. More people come in. They all ask, who was the turkey? I am happy to say me, I am the turkey. Mm -hmm.